Hello students. Today we are going to do the next part of the chapter physical quantities and measurement. So let us start. We are going to learn today about comparison of sol of the densities of solid, liquid and gases. As you can see I have made some diagram and I have written some points. So let us understand how the density is impacted with the change in the states of matter, how it is affecting the mass and volume because now you know the density depends upon two factors, mass and volume. I'll just write the formula here for you. And one very important thing that you need to remember is that when the mass increases, the density increases. It is directly proportional. And when the volume increases, the density decreases. It is inversely proportional. Now, to start with solids, you know that density is generally high in the substances which are having close or the molecules are very close by or the intermolecular forces between them is very high. For example, you take any solid. Generally, the solids are having more density than any liquid. And it also depends upon how closely the molecules are arranged. Because here in the solid, if we take of the same volume, if we compare solid, liquid and gases, these are what you are going to observe. That in a solid, the molecules are very close. So the intermolecular force of attraction is also more. And the intermolecular space is also very less. Thus when the molecules are very close, mass will increase with the number of molecules and as the solids are having all the molecules close by the mass is increasing and so is the density. Then if the molecules are loosely packed as in case of liquids then the same volume of liquid if I compare the same volume of solid and liquid the intermolecular force will become less and the space will be more so it, as in comparison to the solid so the mass will obviously become less because there are less molecules and when the mass becomes less the density will become obviously lower so in comparison to solid the liquids will have less density and going to the last case that is the gases which are most loosely packed the intermolecular forces are almost negligible here and they are free to move around. So they take up the whole area wherever it is getting space to fill up. So here the volume increases, not the mass. Here the volume will become large. Thus, when the volume is becoming more, the density will become less. So gases generally have lesser densities in comparison to solid, liquid and gases. And the higher density or the highest density will generally be found in the solid and liquid will be in some way between. Our next topic is using this same concept to understand floating or flotation and sinking. So if you remember last time we had talked about the relative density Rd and of Rd the Rd of water is 1 because the density of water is 1 gram per cubic centimeter as you all know. So the Rd of a substance will give us an idea whether a substance will float or it will sink. If the Rd is less than 1, so obviously its density is less, so it will float in water. Here comparison is with water. If the Rd is more than 1, then it will sink in water because it is heavier. And depending upon the densities of the liquids, if we are having two uh, liquids and if we are taking the same solid it may sink in one or float in one so it's all depending upon the mass volume and density formula and the liquid with lesser density if we take two liquids it will float over the heavier one so the very common example is oil and water in oil you know it's lighter it is less denser and it floats over the water you can try that at home yourself now we go to the next important part of understanding the law of flotation. It states that when a body floats in a liquid, 
the total weight of the body is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by its immersed part means how much liquid is displaced when we are immersing that body that is the weight of the floating body you can relate it to what we have read earlier relating about um, density how the water was coming out of the measuring cylinder of the eureka can the excess water we were collecting so next is the principle of flotation now to understand that you should know about two kinds of forces which are acting on any substance which is floating now that is one is the weight of the body which is floating or it, it will go sink in that liquid and the opposite force is the buoyant force generally weight of the body always is downward because of gravity and the buoyant force is such a force which tries to make the substance float in it it is a upward force so there are three cases here so the first case being if the buoyant force suppose we are calling it fb is smaller than the weight of the body as you can see in the diagram the body is having more weight so the buoyant force is not able to hold it up it is sinking the body has come down so in this case the resultant resultant force will can be calculated by subtracting weight by the buoyant force fb and the body is going to sink it will happen when the density of the body is greater than the density of the liquid this liquid is having lesser density and this body is more heavy density is more so it is settling down so this is the first case the second case tells that when the buoyant force is equal to the weight of the body so what is going to happen it is just going to float next to the surface of the liquid as you can see here here the resultant force will become zero because the body and the water both are having the same density so it is not going completely in nor it is coming out it's just in the floating point it's just on the tip on the point and in the third case the buoyant force is greater than the weight of the body so here you can see half body is inside and half is out so in this case the resultant force which is acting upward more so it is making the body float and the body will float because of the lesser density also the density of the liquid here is slightly more than the density of the body and this happens when generally the density of the liquid is more than the body to immerse in it and also we can say that the apparent weight of the body will become zero here where we can say that w will be equal to the floating the buoyant force fp so the main concept that you need to remember here is that when a body has a density greater than the density of the liquid then it will sink in the liquid but if the density of the body is equal to or less than the density of the liquid the body will float in the liquid thank you